Ahoy folks, Craigo here for Pure Xbox to take another stab at this whole reviewing gig. That's right, I put pen to paper and reviewed the oh-so-charming little kitty big city for PureXbox.com. Now, without further ado, let's tuck in. Little Kitty Big City is the inaugural release for indie developer Double Dagger Studio. It's a fun and silly venture centering around a mischievous little kitty trying to find their way back home. We were interested to understand where the makers of such wholesome content had been, and let me tell you, we were surprised. Before setting up the new Seattle-based studio, Matt E. Wood, the founder of Double Dagger, previously worked for Valve on FPS titles such as Half-Life 2, Left 4 Dead, and Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's not exactly the rap sheet we were expecting, but we've got to respect a developer with that level of range. Anyway, besides a good scritch behind the ear and an oh-so-big stretch, naps are the cornerstone of what makes a good day, well, good. Cat lovers will understand nobody loves naps more than our beloved feline frenemies. They are experts in the field of plopping one's fuzzy derriere atop a surface to settle for a horizontal life pause. How apt that little kitty big city should start with our nameless Mauser basking in the warm rays of a morning sun. Unsurprisingly, our kitty cat's nap spot just so happens to be situated atop the tallest building in the city. All it takes is one overzealous stretch to get this furball rolling down into the streets. Thankfully, a cat always lands in a bin. That's the, the idiom, right? And from a stinky starting point and a big city to explore, we're off to find our way home. You know, after we've wrecked absolute havoc in true cat fashion. The final objective of Lil Kitty Big City mirrors our own after a long day. Scale a tall apartment building for big naps. To do this, players must first venture into the bright and bubbly streets to gobble down tasty fish and muster up enough climbing energy to begin the ascent. However, we are playing as a soon-to-be master of mischief and tomfoolery, so what's the rush? Throughout Little Kitty Big City, players earn their chaotic stripes by completing silly tasks for a charming cast of chatty street animals. In one mission, you have to collect doodads of shininess from hard-to-reach places to trade with an entrepreneurial crow. In another, you're tasked with rounding up hyperactive ducklings for a, quite frankly, awful duck dad. Did I mention how we're rewarded? With hats! Yes, hats! Adorable little accessories to customize our kitty with 42 in total. We also receive emotes like Yucky to express our views on cucumber land snakes and many more fun cat achievements. Little Kitty Big City is a puzzle platformer cat lectathon. Its medium-sized sandbox city is host to several napping spots, and for most of its two to five hour runtime, it's enjoyable, if not repetitive, but such is the life of a cat. Many of us have watched a cat chaotically push a glass off a table without consequence and thought, hmm, I wish I was a cat. Well, our favorite thing about Little Kitty Big City is the opportunity to be just that. A cheeky cat in a city full of distractions. We loved having the freedom and parkour skills to climb up on hard to reach ledges, to swipe and send plant pots careening towards their concrete demise, and to quite literally give a dog a bone in order to access new areas of the map. The distractions are really good fun. We enjoyed having our very own Gojira moment by wandering through a miniature cityscape as the suddenly indomitable big kitty Later, we traipsed our little toe beans through wet paint and inadvertently became the next Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, and whilst we're talking about artists, our personal highlight was donning a cute turtle hat, a la Ninja Turtles, biting down on a katana, and putting the fear in the local humans. Cat Turtle, turtle power! power! The writing nestled away in this charming indie adventure is fun, wholesome, and generally decent. Certain animal pals, yeah, we're talking about the hashtag influencer bug, do drag on a little too much for our liking. And sure, we might be aging millennials, but do we really need to explain what LOL means in 2024? Another feature we weren't too keen on was the Petwork series of fast travel points. It's not that it didn't work as intended, but given the small scale of the city, it had us wondering if it was wholly necessary. 
Whilst we're focusing on the bits that we didn't love about Little Kitty Big City, it's worth mentioning that controlling our feline friend can be a bit finicky. Having recently blasted through Annapurna Interactive's Stray, one of my all-time faves, Little Kitty Big City had some big paws to fill. Look, it's not bad. It certainly does the job it needs to do. But we often found ourselves missing easy jumps and getting stuck in places due to some avoidable jank. At one point, our kitty got so irrevocably stuck in some pipes that the game turned into a fuzzy vortex and we had to load a previous save file to continue playing. Aside from this, we're happy to report that Little Kitty Big City runs perfectly fine on the Xbox Series X and S consoles. Visually, the animal characters, the city, and the overarching vibe of Little Kitty Big City is really pleasing. From the big green eyes of our hero cat to the streets, rooftops, and indoor spaces, things are wonderfully charming. Well, almost everything. Uh, the humans don't have faces, and it's, it's unsettling. Ah. Little Kitty Big City is a perfect addition to Xbox Game Pass, and in our view, is worth checking out if you have a subscription. If we've learned anything from our three-hour romp through the city, it's that we're glad that humans have faces. Also, that contributing to a circular economy by recycling cans is important. But most importantly, we affirmed what we thought we already knew, that being a silly cat is very good fun. This is the first ever release from Seattle-based developer Double Dagger Studio, and we think they should feel proud for delivering some much-needed cat-shaped joy to Xbox. Will you be playing Little Kitty Big City this week? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. All that's left to say is bye-bye for meow. Cheerio!